Another video on antenna couplers. This is a specific purpose one. It had to operate on 80 meters and match a half wavelength of wire to a 10 to 15 watt transceiver. Unlike most of my other couplers, which are L matches, this one is basically a transformer with two windings on a T68-2 toroid. RF is applied through the primary of about five turns. You might want to vary it by one turn either side, depending on the match you get. And the secondary is 41 turns. That is an inductance of around nine microhenry. Anyway, nine microhenry resonates with around 200 picofarad or a little bit more around 220 for three and a half megahertz making it suitable on 80 meters if i wanted to i could reduce the capacitance and it may work on higher bands like 60 meters if you have it in your country or even 40 meters anyway i just wanted this coupler for 80 meters so i'm using it with this trimmer capacitor you might not be able to easily obtain them new, but you may find them in old equipment. Anyway, this one goes from about 40 picofarad up to about 300 picofarad. It is a high value compression type trimmer. If you don't have a trimmer that goes up to this sort of value, then you could have something like a 180 picofarad disc ceramic capacitor. And in parallel with that could be a lower value trimmer like around 50 or 60 picofarad maximum. That will allow you to tune this unit on 80 meters. You might notice that across the terminals here, I have a resistor 3.9K, which I've been using for adjusting the um, unit with the antenna analyzer, which I'll show you in a moment. The whole thing is on a piece of printed circuit board material. It's in bright sunlight, but you might be able to see where I've cut tracks with a hacksaw. Most of the board is connected to earth, but there are some islands for the non-earthed parts of the circuit. And looking at it this side, here's where it just plugs into the back of the transceiver. This is particularly useful for portable operating because the cable between the antenna coupler and transceiver is one more item to forget and if you can minimize that then you've saved yourself a bit of space and complexity in setting up a station. There's a little bit of physical fragility here but once I'm happy with the antenna coupler then I can use some sort of sealant compound to put around and give it a bit of physical protection. I've got two binding posts here the red is for the antenna half wavelength of wire and the black is for a counterpoise. When I'm using it, of course, I'll remove the 3.9K resistor. As for the circuit, it's now on the screen. Left is the transceiver, the PL259 plug. Go straight into five turns, the primary, secondary, 41 turns on the T68-2, in parallel with the trim cap, and then the antenna and the counterpoise. If your trimmer capacitor has a lower value than mine, mine is about 50 picofarad at its lowest value. It's not quite enough to resonate up on seven megahertz, but you might just be able to get it to do so if you took a turn or so off the toid. But I didn't in this case because I wanted it just to be strictly for 80 meters. Here we are, hopefully you can read it. It goes down to one to one, a return loss of 25 dB, which is pretty good at around 3.6 megahertz. This is pretty much a set and forget thing, but it's a good idea just to bring a small screwdriver if you do want to make fine adjustments.